Good evening. Well, thank you all for coming. Um, I always need to apologize for my accent because some of you are here for the first time, and that will be um, a challenge for itself. And also to thank Pastor Ken for the opportunity and thank the friends in the booth who are really helping over the last few nights to run all the technology um, up and down. Uh, as Pastor Ken had mentioned, it is a part of a theory, and therefore the idea was to try to make some logic out of it and try to take a selection of some issues which are regarding the land, and through that, through some sidetracks, to try to cover as much as possible. And therefore, today, we are going to uh, go straight to the heart. And the heart is Jerusalem, always had been Jerusalem. And one can, oh, by the way, when I do that, I signal the uh, friends over there that I would like to have the next slide. Nothing wrong with our arm, all right? Just kind of signaling them. And uh, so tonight, we are going to uh, speak about Jerusalem. And of course, the name you are familiar with, and I'm sure that you are familiar with some of the biblical events that took place in the city of Jerusalem. But uh, to give you the bottom line, almost everything that happened in the country was somehow related to Jerusalem. And not only Jerusalem, but one place in Jerusalem called the Temple Mount, and not just the Temple Mount, but one rock, which happened to be the very top of Temple Mount, and you have no idea how significant the place is, or maybe you do. But three and a half billion people around the world will consider one rock one rock alone is the holiest place on earth, and so many people are willing to give their lives just to have possession of it as it was back in history. We speak about a place that saw so much conflict, a place that saw so much bloodshed, and although the meaning of the name Jerusalem in Hebrew means the city of peace, unfortunately, not that much peace in town. And we should not be surprised about what we see even today about Jerusalem because the Bible says very clearly, a stone of trembling, a trembling stone, a cup of trembling, that's exactly what happens. So today the whole world speaks about Jerusalem and it's all political and religious and the Muslims and the Christians and the Jews. Well, my intention tonight is to try to give you an overview and I can only focus and elaborate on some historical eras and then we'll just skip some others. But there's no other way to do that because we don't have that much time. 